At Garfield High School, one classroom has made it its mission to make the entire school more environmentally friendly. That classroom is Miss Finley's AP Environmental Science class, which is taking the steps to receive a Level 1 Washington Green School certification. Over 830 schools in Washington have already joined the Washington Green Certification Program, with more joining each week. To receive a Level 1 certification, a school must form a green team, pick a category, record data on that category, and use that data to implement lasting change in one school. The students decided to focus specifically on the waste category for certification and decided to conduct an audit of the school's waste to determine how much was being produced and whether it was being sorted properly. Students on Miss Finley's newly formed green team went around the school to a number of classrooms to gather garbage and recycling. They recorded data on the volume and weight of the garbage and recycling and took note of any waste items that were sorted improperly. The next step for the team will be using the data to decide what changes need to be implemented. Forming a green team and getting certified are not the only steps Miss Finley students are taking to make the school more environmentally friendly. Students will also be taking a more hands-on approach towards sustainability. Welcome to Garfield's newly planted urban garden. Located on the school grounds, the garden is maintained almost completely by Miss Finley students and produces various edible vegetables. You know, we water the garden, we pick plants, we plant plants, we do weeding. And there's a lot more work to be done than just watering and weeding. The garden actually produces its own natural fertilizer. I was uh, one of the people who helped uh, like make the soil, add the fertilizer on top, and then mix it all together so it's nice and fertile for the plants. So uh, the worm bins I also helped make. Uh, we basically added, um, as you can see here, we added uh, like strips of newspaper. Um, we got it all wet and put it in, as, and we got a bunch of uh, red wiggling worms, red wigglers, um, and we uh, added those in along with some like food compost. Mixed mix that all together um, so it's nice and moist, so that it provided food for the um, worms eat and then they poop out the good fertilizer. As you can see, the garden is a sustainable method of growing food that will hopefully expand so it can supply food for a larger community. The idea for the garden was Miss Finley's, who felt it was a great way to teach students about sustainable solutions. The first year that I taught environmental science, I felt like I was telling people everything that they shouldn't do with their lives and um, how they should not treat the world. And it wasn't very empowering of what we should do. And I felt like the gardening is something that we can do and we can do it in a positive way and it has a great impact on the world and um, it's something that we can say yes to. Through its urban garden and green team, Garfield High School is moving in the right direction towards a greener, sustainable future. Hopefully the school will serve as a future example of sustainability by continuing to improve its practices and reducing its waste. Thank you for watching.